guys, today I thought we'd talk about red lipstick. I love red lipstick and one of the things when I started the top five series a lot of you asked me to do is talk about my favorite red lipsticks. So what I thought we'd do is we'd talk about my favorite five drugstore lipsticks and my favorite five high-end lipsticks. No MAC. Um, most of my favorite MAC red lipsticks are, are limited edition and not available readily. Um, so. And I have a lot of them that I love. They, they do a great job of coming out with limited edition great red lipsticks. Um, you know, and of course I like some that are available all the time, like Russian Red and that kind of thing. But I thought it would be fun, you know, if we talk about a little high end to talk about um, some things that are, uh, you know, different brands uh, that are out there. Because everybody makes really good lipstick. And I love red lipstick. I will put a list of all of these colors with their corresponding blog posts. You know, if you want a pricing information, that kind of thing. All right, here we go. I love red lipstick. Should I start out that way? I have way too many of them. I prefer mostly blue-based reds. Um, they make your teeth look whiter. I mean, come on, how white do these look, okay? Th this makes my teeth look like little white chiclets, which I like. Uh, so, love red lipsticks, have a million of them. I'll also include a post I have where I talk about, or I have links to like 30 of my favorite, I swear, it seems like 30 of my favorite red lipsticks. Uh, I'll put that below as well if you want to, and I have it where color-coded so you can see which ones are drugstore or high-end, um, you know, so that makes it easy, depending on what you're in the market for. All right, that's enough talking. Here we go. I'm going to start with drugstore, and I'm going to start with the thing that I'm wearing right now, the thing. It is Milani's... Um, Best Red, number seven. This is from their color statement line. Gorgeous, gorgeous red, comfortable to wear. I'm also wearing a Milani lip liner. They have great lip liners, very inexpensive. They're like $3. Uh, the, I'm wearing the True Red lip liner from Milani. I put it all over my lips. I lined, then I put, a, put it all over my lips, and then I went in with Best Red. Uh, so here's the color on my hand, Best Red number seven. Really, really, really nice red. They have a couple really good reds, but that's my favorite. Uh, cover Girl. My favorite red from them is Hot, number 305. A lot of you, I came late to the game on this one. I just started using this not too long ago, and a lot of you were like, okay, what took you so long, girl? This is Taylor Swift's color, <laughs> which I didn't know. Um, so it's right on top there. It's uh, Cover Girl Hot, number 305. Really, really pretty. Does stain your lips, though. This is the most staining thing here. Everything else is kind of easier to take off than this. It does stain. All the bright CoverGirl st colors stain my lips, though. Uh, Maybelline On Fire Red from the Vivid line is my favorite from them. It's $8.95, number $8.95. Uh, all of these, by the way, are under $10 uh, from the drugstore. I'll tell you the two most inexpensive ones are the Wet n Wild one I'm going to show you and the Black Radiance one I'm going to show you. All right, so this is the uh, Maybelline Vivid On Fire Red. Really, really pretty. Uh, very, very glossy. Uh, nice red. Okay, this is very inexpensive and good. It is Red Velvet number 910D from Wet n Wild, and it is from their... Uh, whew, I should really do my hair before I start a video. Uh, it's from their Mega Last line, and it's a really, really pretty red. Um, I'm not such a fan of their flat tip lipsticks. I gotta tell you, when you're using them, I, I kind of am used to a point, but that is Red Velvet number 910D. Really, really nice. I prefer to put a balm on before I put this on. I do balm, then liner, then this, um, because I need some more moisture than this gives me on its own. It's a beautiful, beautiful color, but I find that I need quite a bit of mo moisture on my lips. Uh, NYX Chaos. Now, NYX makes some great round lipstick reds, but Chaos is my number one. Chaos, I like the name, I like the color. I love, love, love Chaos. Chaos has um, just a really pretty, it's just a, a very basic yet classic pretty red. You know, it's 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 really red. Whereas some of these, like if you looked at it next to the others, they have some pink in them and everything. Chaos is just red. Um, this one gets an honorable mention, and it's from Black Radiance, and it was my first red lipstick ever uh, that I, I put on. I went to Catholic school, and I would wear this, and my mom, you know, told me I was going to hell. And so I wore it every day. Uh, <laughs> this is reggae red, and probably the most... Between Wet n Wild and this, very inexpensive. I swear this is like under $3. You'd have to look at the post to check it out. But 
it's a really, really pretty reggae red. This is my second one in adulthood. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, really, really pretty inexpensive red. Um, this one I don't tend to need balm with though. So really, really pretty red. It gets an honorable mention because it was my first sinful red, right? I got it. I got to tell you about that. All right. Some favorites from the high end range of the market. So these are all like $20 and over. All right. Really, really good reds. My first one here that I want to talk to you about is relatively new to me. It's Burberry's Military Red. A really, really pretty red. Um, Burberry lipsticks are very, very comfortable to me, but my lips need to be in really good shape. I noticed that about them. This is Military Red, a beautiful bright red. Makes your teeth look super white. Uh, but again, I will just tell you, some of you might need balm with these. Uh, this, huh, Dolce & Gabbana came out with this Monica series. That was fantastic. I think they came out with six lipsticks in the series last year and I got five of them and I they're so good. The good thing about Dolce & Gabbana, I'm getting a lot of emails from people about Dolce & Gabbana because they're at Sephora now. A lot of people, um, you know, want some more information on them, and uh, I just love their lipsticks. This is Attractive, or, yeah, Attractive Monica number 140. Very, very pretty. A gorgeous red. Their lipsticks are really comfortable. There's a smell to them. Think along the lines of the Milani lipsticks. It's, it's a pretty... You know, you do smell it when you open up the tube, but that is the uh, attractive Monica number 140 on top there. Really, really, really pretty red. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Probably the most used high-end red lipstick um, that I have. It's NARS Jungle Red. Love this color. I have the matching NARS uh, Jungle Red Liner, and it's gorgeous. Check the post out on this. It's so, so beautiful. Oh, let me show it to you first, and then I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand for you. Oh, so so, so beautiful. Kind of a different finish. I like that. It lasts throughout the day. It's really cool. Um, the next two that I have to tell you about are mattes, and they are comfortable mattes. I like a comfortable mat. I don't like no dry mat. <laughs> I don't like no dry mat. Uh, this is Bobbi Brown's Creamy Matte Lip Color in Heart number 13. I think this is still available. I'm almost positive. I think this came out around Valentine's Day, and I wore it in like two videos, and you guys were like, that is such a pretty red, and I totally agree. It's a very, very comfortable mat, and I need to check out. I have to go to the Bobbi Brown counter anyway at Nordstrom, and I have to check out and see if she has some more. I would love to find a nice uh, kind of a nudie color in this uh, formula because it's so comfortable wear matte, you know, for being a matte. This is a great comfortable to wear matte. Oh my god. It is Chanel's uh, La Fascinate number 38 Rouge Allure Velvet. Very, very comfortable to wear. I was very, very surprised. The only thing about this is they didn't come out with a colors I wanted. You know, I looked at the whole range and, and there weren't a lot of colors I wanted because uh, I enjoyed wearing this so much. You know, you'd like to pick up another color, but I couldn't, I didn't fall in love with anything else, that's for sure. So it's right there on top. It's number 38. Um, if you like, ooh, I almost knocked something over. If you like deeper colored lipsticks, they do have a really nice matte deep shade. It's too deep for me. I don't like it that deep. <laughs> but, uh, it's a really pretty one, so check it out. Okay, so I got through all of the oh, those, right? Yeah, I got through all of those, and I want to give you an honorable mention. It's just kind of one of my favorites. This is my second one. This is Urban Decay's Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color, and it's called F-Bomb, and it is like fire. If you have a red lipstick girl, you need to check this out. I'll put the post below, but you need to check this out because this is like fire. It is so good and it's glossy. I have trouble figuring out if it's a lipstick because it has the staying power of a lipstick but the shine of a gloss. And there it is right there. I did it across there. So that is F-Bomb. I gotta say I love the name as well. So let me know guys, the, again, check the post out below if you have any interest in any of these colors. Let me know your favorite red. I'd love to you know, find that out from you guys. And also let me know what you'd like to see next. Would you like to see pinks? Would you like to see like purples? A lot of people ask for like purple heroin type, you know, MAC heroin type purples. So let me know what you'd like to see first. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.